Welcome back to Comston Farms. I hope everyone is well. So today we did... Oh, good. Got it. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, a little bump and grind. But today we are going to start off with doing a little bit of fertilizing. I want to go ahead and get our grass fields fertilized. Because next month in game... Oh, come on. Come on silage is going to be at its peak as far as selling goes let's go a little quicker here so what i would like to do is i'd like to get these fertilized then we can get them mowed up tatted up turned into silage bales which i haven't done bales for quite some time so i am kind of excited about that it has been a while we stuck everything we had into our fermenting silo which has worked really good for us that is a big part of why we have money right now but i think we even have like is it 400,000 liters still in the fermenting silo which is a good chunk wait let's just hold on shut that off uh, back up come on oh i shut that off dude back up come on i don't want to miss where i'm going go 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 my goodness sometimes it's just so slow and you're like come on uh i'm going here yes and where would I be looking? Oh, where? Oh, here we go. Here we go. There. I'm like, I was completely lost. So we have 487,000 liters of silage. Not bad. Not bad. But if we can do better, then we should. I mean, what is silage? Silage is going to be selling right around 550, 600, 573. So we're really not that far off. But I'm just wanting to get as much as we possibly can because it is going to be another year before we're able to sell silage. I mean, we can sell it, and I have, but I hate to sell it when it's not at prime price. So if we can get in there right now, sell everything we got, when the price is high, then we can make some more silage so that we have plenty for the TMR, for the cows and stuff, because we will definitely be needing that hopefully our cows will be reproducing very very soon i think next month in game they should be ready to reproduce thank god it has been a long road that's for sure i had no well i guess i should have paid attention but i did not know it was going to take that long for our cows to actually be producing they are making milk now making some slurry I do want to get a manure pit that you can put over by the cows and then they will produce manure as well. Right now, all we are getting is slurry, which isn't bad. We can use it. We have a slurry what, dryer, isn't it? Sitting over there right now. There's some other things I think we can use slurry for. I haven't bought it yet, but there's one where you can make a fertilizer and you can also what i'm really excited is that you can make a herbicide with it and it doesn't cost much i believe it is made to go in conjunction with oh what am i thinking greenhouses that's what i'm trying to think of so that will be pretty cool because there's another greenhouse i want as well i am kind of uh, my adhd seems to be kicking in pretty hard and pretty strong today i am all over the place I'll try to reel it in just a little bit. But let me go ahead. Let me get this fertilizing done. It shouldn't take me long. And then we will move on maybe to mowing grass, maybe to getting ourselves a new greenhouse. I think we should try to stay focused. We, me. Well, I think we've just about got it here. One more pass down. And I think everything should be good. And at top fertilization there we go now lucky for us i think all we have to do we can fertilize it and then all same day everything else it's all you know the best we don't have to wait for the fertilizer to do anything yeah i think we got it now all the way around the perimeter here of 31 i know it doesn't look like it's fertilized but that's because it wasn't mowed so it never got a fertilization state. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Watch out there, sheepy. Jittery things. Uh, I guess we'll just park this over here. 
Now, I don't think this tractor is really strong enough, powerful enough to be hauling those mowers. So we need a different tractor. Drop that, pull it up a little bit. Very nice, okay. So let me show you what I was thinking about as far as greenhouses go. Well, let me get in the right tab here. No, that's not, oh, I was in the right tab. Ugh. Me, I'm aggravated at me, nothing else. Okay, so factories, yes, all the way. That's hard to see. Let's go over here. There we go. That's way easier to see. But I need greenhouses. And it was like 12.5, I think. Yeah, right here. No, right here. There we go. So it takes water, seeds, herbicide and fertilizer, dry fertilizer, and you can produce olives and grapes. So I'm thinking that will work out really well. Now I know we're already, we're making oil uh, with, what was it? Canola, I think is in there. And then we just planted sunflower. So that's gonna make oil also, but if nothing else, we can make some grapes. But that way I, I like to have two things going. What I'm really excited about more than even that is down here. No, I don't want that. Stop that is way down here. Is this guy right here? Doesn't look like much, very unassuming, but hey, that might go really well right there. Uh, it makes herbicide, which that is that's this is the only thing that I have found. Now, I'm not saying there isn't anything else, but this is the only thing that I have found that actually makes herbicide. I am pretty excited about that. I think this is a good little home that way or this way. Uh, I think just like so. There we go. Raise the ground a little bit. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. But that should work. We should be able to drive right through the gate and dump. That'll be perfect. Now, am I ready to buy the greenhouse? I'm kind of squirrel chasing a nut here, but uh, greenhouse, where did it go? Well, five. Uh, see, I would like it over here like something like this, but I'm afraid that it'll mess with our grass when I go to pop it down in there. I don't want to do that. So I guess we'll go, don't really like this because it's on the other side of the fence and I don't like that, but you can't have everything. And boom, okay, beautiful. I like it, it looks good. That's good. That's good. That's all right. We will get back to that. We need a tractor. There we go. This ought to be a good mower. You know, let's give it a bath real quick. Only The only reason I care about giving it a bath is when you don't run into anything. It's when you get in and look at the window. It's all dirty and nasty. That's the only thing I don't like about a dirty tractor. Everything else is just fine. Get the windows. That's what I need to do to my truck. Oh my God, that thing is filthy. I just took it up to uh, North Carolina from Florida to see my son. And my God, there's a lot of bugs. Look at that, pretty, pretty, pretty. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. Go get a mower and look at that. We can see out the window and everything. Go! Woohoo! All right. Let's go grab our mowers and see if we can get this job done anyway. We will just simply hook it up and go. Uh, which one do we want to start on? I think we'll start on the first one we started on before. I... What field is that? Not 31. That's the sheep field, right? I think 31 is the sheep field. Whatever this one is over here. Man, we barely squeaked through there. They didn't give us a whole lot of room, did they, turning through here? 
No, no, not you. Not you. Not you. Back up. Full. Fire that guy up real quick. Okay. Let me jump up. Jump up. Jump out. Jump around. Close the gate. Hop on in. Now we're, we are ready to do some mowing. Can I get rid of that little shrub right there? Come on, tell me I can't. Tell me I can't. All right. Doing a little mowing. This is just about the right amount of mowing the, doing these three fields. It's uh, not all straight, so you get a little bit of, uh, not challenge to it, but a little different scenery, not just straight up and down. But yet it's not so massive that you're mowing grass for two hours either. Let's uh, let's go ahead and put our nose to the grindstone and get this pig done. Don't don't don't. Uh. And now, now, come on, get out, get away from the fence. Now let's get this pig done. Just like that, we are mowed up. I missed one little spot back there. And no sheep were harmed in the filming of this episode. Not many, anyway. Out of the way there, Junior. Let me get that last little bit. Perfect. Get over here. Now I guess we need to get ourselves a windrow. Drop that guy right there. I love this little smiley face right here. He looks like a happy guy, doesn't he? He does. Sort of. <laughs> sort of happy. Okay, so... I think the Fent will do the tether real well, so let's use it. And do I have... Do I have a baler? Because I'm, I'm not seeing a baler. I see a wrapper. I see a windrow. But I'm not seeing a baler. Why four am I not seeing a baler? Okay. Oh, nope. That's stone. I have a stone picker? Oh, no. I don't have a stone picker. That would, I can buy a stone picker. Okay. It, it doesn't... Uh, I see bale wrapper. Did I get rid of... Whatever baler I had, I know I made bales. I see some square bales over there, and I couldn't have rented it because I don't rent in this playthrough. So, well, phooey. I guess we're going to have to buy a baler. That is not what I wanted to do. I guess it will be worth it. We won't buy anything too expensive. I would need to make sure... Whatever baler we get is compatible with our bale wrapper. Uh, I can't, that looks like it could be a round baler, but I mean, we have square bales over there on a trailer. I don't know if it's on a trailer. It might be on a trailer over by the cow pasture. Any, let go. Oh yeah, I love gates. Give me more of them, make them smaller too. That'd be great. 
Why? That's what I don't understand. If you're going to be driving equipment through, why would you make your gate small? Wouldn't you make it so it was easy to bring your equipment through? Or is that just a ridiculous... Wait, wait, I don't need this. Oh, no. Well, I didn't do much. I... That's a tatter. I wanted a windrow. Fire it up. Now, my other problem that I already know is going to happen is I got very, very close to the fence along this side over here. That is never, ever a good idea when you've got to come through and windrow. Because what does it want to do? It wants to catch it, grab it, hit it. I had the problem with my mower, and I don't know that I'm a good enough driver to stay away from the fence. Maybe I am. Well, right now we're looking pretty good. Well, we've almost got it done. These sheep are not cooperating. Out of the way there, feller. Or lady. There we go. Let's drop this down. Don't, oh, what? Come on. Really, you're gonna stick right there? Don't look. Very tough, durable sheep. There we go. All right, we are done with that part of it. Hold that guy up. And now we need to figure out what we're going to do for a baler. Go over, drop this off, then no, oh, don't get caught on the gate. Ah. Woo. These gates are going to be the death of me. So I was asked what uh, type of farm am I looking for? That tarp. So I was asked what type of map I was looking for. And I think one without gates. I don't think I want to do a small map. I mean, this map really doesn't play small, but it kind of does because it is not made for any big equipment. You got some decent sized fields, which is cool, but my goodness, getting anything around here on the roads, anything else is a tad bit redunculous. So I think maybe we need for our next map something a little bit more airy, a bit more room to move around. Let's see, anything? Oh yeah, they got nothing. So we gotta go here and we need a baler, big, big baler. Well, not a really big, big baler, but a baler, baler, balers, okay. And let's see. So wait, I guess maybe we should check out what do we have for a bale wrapper? What does it do? It does round and square bales up to round is up to 150 centimeters and square is up to 220 centimeters. Okay, that is handy to know. Back to balers. I think square baler would be better. That that Looks like, I think that's a round baler, right? Yeah, little babies. What was that, 153? I guess we'll go with that. This, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's take it. Uh, I'm not really changing any tires. I'm not doing a wheel setup. 
Eh, phooey. We'll just leave it right where it is. Let's buy it. Okay. Who knew it was going to cost me $150,000 just to make bales? And I know this guy is not going to do it. How many horsepower do we need? How many? How many? How many? Uh, let's think here. And we need 250 horsepower. Okay, I think we have... I think the case over here is pushing almost three, isn't it? Uh, oh, where am I going? I always hit the wrong dang button. Uh, medium tractor, the case. No, no, no. 313. Okay, so we're good. Let's go grab the baler. Let's see if we can get this thing done. Because I would like to do something other than grass work. Now, don't get me wrong. I've enjoyed it. I do like to mow and bale and stuff. It's just been a while since I've done it. But uh, I like to do other things too. I want to make some money. We have not even spit out our first bale yet. So I don't know how many we're going to get. I think we must be set on the 250 centimeter bales big boys would be my assumption i didn't check it until uh, i didn't think about it to be honest with you until right now oh, but it is what it is the more bales are the fewer bales bigger bale yeah fewer big bales are better than uh, multiple small bales i think definitely easier for transport and i don't think well we may have an auto low bale trailer i think if we do it's going to be over by the cow pasture that's where all of our bale stuff is. We are in no hurry here at all. Blazing speed of 11 mile an hour. Now I am not gonna run a speedy on this. I think uh, I think we've done our fair share of speedies already. So what I wanna do is I wanna go through, I wanna get the bales done. Then we need to get our new greenhouse up and running check on our productions make sure they're doing okay we've even got a field that we need to get harvested it's soybeans and i'm not sure when the best time to sell soybeans is better not be today better not be december i seriously doubt that it is but we will check that out first things first i want to get these all at least made well i've got all the baling done now it is just onto the rapid which is going to take a minute or two i do believe this is not the quickest process in the world now i know why i switched to going loose because it is just so much easier especially with the new trailer that thing makes life just a tad bit almost too easy to be honest i mean i'm okay with it it's not too easy nothing's ever too easy well, maybe. I take that back. I retract that statement out of the way there, sheep. But I'm going to go through and get these. Now, I have no idea how many we got. You can kind of see them scattered amongst over there, up on the hill, down through here. This field really didn't produce as many as I was thinking it would. I got O's. Yep. Okay, we're good there. But the hog uh, area there, that did pretty good. It got quite a few bales as well. I mean, I'm going to say maybe, oh, 30. I haven't counted them. I don't know, but I'm going to say 30. And that might be, that might be a little high, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I almost said something else. So I better just watch my tongue. That's all I got to say. Watch out there, sheep. Really? Now you're going to drop, walk right through my tractor, aren't you? under it they're just crawling under it that's what the deal is don't hang out there come on move it there we go and i did check we do have a trailer bail trailer now i'm a little uh kind of laggy today myself i said i uh i took a trip this weekend which is what is today's today's date the 17th when i'm recording this so i left oh four days ago to go up to see my boy Maybe I shouldn't call him my boy. He's, you know, he's a Marine. Maybe I should call him my son. I don't know. I say my boy and it sounds like he's 12. He is no longer 12. But anyway, I went up to see him. So it took me 
Ooh, an achievement. That's a wrap. Took me a while to get there. Then I end up driving straight back and all of that fun stuff. So I am a little on the jet lag train, but that's okay. I think we're doing all right. As I go, I wake up a little bit, get the process started. Come on. Now, I think when we do bales and we wrap them, aren't they automatically silage? Did I get all those? I did, good. I think they are. There we go, there we go. So I believe they are already. Get in here, let's go see. And if I pick it up, wait, what does that say I have? I can't read. It, it doesn't, it doesn't say what it is. Okay, well that's easy enough. We are down to our last couple of bales. This has gone uh, quicker than I was anticipating. For some reason, I was thinking this was gonna take a lot longer than it did. It actually went pretty good, which is a nice surprise for sure. Whoa, simmer down, simmer down. And there is our last bale. I do believe I even stopped and emptied the baler. I'd forgot to do that. So I went ahead and dropped those off, got those emptied. Now, I'm not sure. I feel as though my estimate of 30 is, is too many. That's what I feel like, but we will soon find out. We'll run over and grab the trailer. What I could do is I could grab the baler and we're going to take it back because I don't, I don't want it anymore. Well, I do, but I don't want it. What was it? $150,000 worth of want? That's a lot of want. I don't know that I want it that bad. And I think it would be better to we'll take it back to the shop. That way we should get the most out of it when we resell it. Let me get around here. Oh, nice. Well, we're not getting the most out of it now, are we? Just drive it over. Oh, they don't mind. They don't mind. It's character, that's what it is. It gives the machine character. So, all right, let's head to the shop. We'll see how much we get out of this, and then we'll swing back by the uh, cow pasture, grab our bale trailer, get over here, and we'll get a final count on these bales. Back her on in here. I've got to say that baler kind of makes that tractor look small, and uh, something tells me that tractor is, is not small. So we're not selling that. Uh, let's repair it. Yes. Man, a repaint. We only did one job with it, 12 grand. Woo, okay. We'll do it. There it is. So now we will sell it. And uh, I didn't see 135,000. So eh, not bad, not bad. Cost this a little bit, but nothing horrible, I guess probably about the same as renting, maybe a little bit more. So I went ahead and grabbed the bales we had sitting over there. I figured we might as well sell these as well. So seven of these bales were already existing. Whoa, are you okay? Yeah, all right, you good, huh? You okay, buddy? All right, I think, I think we're okay. You gonna grab it? There we go. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Nothing to see here. Keep on moving. Now, I'm not sure. I guess I didn't really have to pick these up yet. We wouldn't have to pick them up until tomorrow in game. But I was kind of curious as to how many we were going to get. Oh, well, we got 13, but seven of them. There we go. So we've actually got seven now. Yeah, I think 30 was a little strong. Pardon me, pardon me, ladies. The sheep definitely make it a little more challenging, I think. I guess it'd be more challenging if you hit them, you kill them. Oh, that would be no fun. Well, I was wrong again, because this makes 48 bales, so we have to take seven away, which gives us still 41 bales. And we have a couple more over there. So we were over 30. That is, uh, that's a pretty good mistake right there. I will take that all day, every day. 
get our big butt through here. Come on. Uh, I don't like these gates. Come on. Oh yeah, we fit. Perfect. Just the way it's intended to be. I think I got it here. Let's see. Did I get my operating position right? No. There we got it. Okay. So we ended up with what? 43 bales that came from this field. The well, these fields, these three fields. That should equal a lot of money. I think these are 220 centimeter bales. Thousand kgs is what it said, I think. Turn. Why do I keep trying to do this? I can't make the turn. Come on, do it. Woo, we got it. Okay, no, no, don't get too close. Don't get too close. That would be bad news. We'll just drop it right there. That is good enough. Good enough for who it's for. All right, so we have the bales done and there's nothing we can do with those today. We'll have to wait till tomorrow in game. We will sell the bales. We will also sell our silage. Now, one thing I haven't done is I want to look at these all the way up. So how we sit? Okay, we did that, the biogas plant. What does that, does I guess that makes digestate? I don't know that that's a fair deal. It also makes electricity and I'm assuming that's propane. So where does that go? Can I sell that or is it just, or am I just trading silage for digestate and not making any money? I, I don't, I don't know the answer to that question. Maybe somebody smarter than me. What do we got? Uh, sold vehicles. No, no, no. Old products. That's not really going to tell me. Oh, biogas in income. Okay. All right. So we are making some money there. I'm assuming that's the propane and the electricity. So I guess it just kind of creeps in. That's kind of neat. I like that. I think better than when you get it all at midnight. So what was I doing? Oh, wait, back to what I was doing back over here. Okay. Okay. These guys are doing okay. We are running a little bit low on water, so we should do that. Uh, this one is almost done. We're going to have 500,000 liters. Very nice. It should be, what, 250? A little over 250, maybe 260, 270,000. Our barley flour is out. Do we have barley? Uh, we do. Okay, so we need to throw a little barley in there. Anything else? Sorghum is running low, but that's all right and wheat i think barley and wheat is fine i don't know if i want to oh we got to move some flour as well we should grab the little bit of wool we have we'll go over and chuck it into our uh, spinnery bread is doing okay how oh, we're almost uh, out of flour so we'll throw some of that around canola we're doing just fine uh, we don't have the digestate dryer. Is that anything going on there? Well, why is it off? That's no, that's no bueno. Let's turn that guy on, get that kicking. And we've got nothing going on over in our newest, uh, what is it? Pro production shed is what they call it. We'll have to try to get that rolling as well. So let's run over, see if we can do something with the flower. I really, I need like a, for the telehandler. Maybe we should think about that. Uh, let's do, let's do that. Let's look at that real quick. And telehandler tools. That's what I think we've got one of these bail fork. And no log pallet fork. Two grand. Let's buy it. And perfect. I don't have really much in there as far as telehandlers go, do I? Let's see if we can reset that, make it a little closer. Yeah, all right, perfect. We got that. Now, I think 
I guess I'm gonna grab the telehandler. Let me run over and grab the pallet fork. Maybe that'll make moving these flower pallets a lot easier. Better than maybe doing it by hand. I mean, by hand works pretty good. You just park right in there. That'll be perfect. Kind of out of the way. Looks good in there. Well, because I am a top-notch YouTuber and forgot to turn my dang video on to record, I missed, you missed a little bit, but nothing major. We did buy a different trailer. Come on, take it. Thank you. So I'll show you what we bought. Oh, uh, go all the way down here. And where is it? Right here. This auto load trailer. No, I don't want to sell it. I wanted to look at it. But it holds, what, 20,000 liters? And I do believe this is the one that does pallets. I bought a couple of them different times trying to find the ones that work. And they just, they wouldn't load pallets. I kept thinking they were the ones we needed, but they weren't. So what I'm going to do, oh, not crush that pallet of flour. Grab one more here. Take it. And look at that. I almost look like I know what I'm doing. Almost. But you all know better than that. Let's draw this off. I mean, this works, but it is, it's not what I call fast or efficient. There. Now, if I did some like every day or all the time, you come over, sling a couple of pallets over there, it'd probably be all right, but I'm, I'm kind of lazy and I really want to do it all at once. So I already reset the trailer, which is good. So it should be sitting over by the shed there. Let's go grab it. See if that can make our life just a wee bit easier. There it is in all of its glory. I did have it painted orange. I like the burnt orange and I went with I thought I went with the black on the rim. They do look kind of black, but that's kind of how they looked before I even picked it. Showed white, but it looked black. Come on, please hook up. Please hook up. Oh, no hook up. What is that? A pin hitch? Oh, it's a pental hitch. But to be honest, I would not have known what those were, except I have one on my had one on my work truck. I yanked that thing off of there and put a regular ball hitch on there. I'm going to go grab a different tractor and we'll grab that trailer. It would have been really nice if the telehandler could have pulled that jump. Woohoo! So the failure made the tractor look small. And now the tractor makes this trailer look like it's a little toy. <laughs> what a difference. What a difference. Now let's just see if we're smart enough to operate. How many pallets can actually go in here? Uh, lower trailer? Wait. Lift trailer, lower trailer. That doesn't really do anything. Open doors. Ooh, snap. Can we back it up? Oh, I see. It just takes it and puts it in boxes. Okay, well, that works. Evidently, you don't have to back it up. I'm guessing you could probably just pull it to the side. But that is pretty cool. So we've got two pallets, but it puts them in smaller area. That is cool. I like it. Is it it's not going in. Come on. I just said I like you. Now, don't make me regret it. Get in there. I know this is not really how you back up a trailer, but well, by God, it seems to be working for me anyway. There you go. Here, get that. Take it. And is that it? That's it. That's all. Okay. No, don't fall down there. I think this was much easier, even though it was just right across the road there. Go and oh, unload, unload, unload. Okay, now I'm hitting triangle. Is it just 
Maybe I wasn't in the right. Oh, not enough. Not enough space. Okay, let's, let's try this again here. I thought it would just unload it into it. Maybe, maybe it's not going to be as easy as I thought. Unload. Oh. Okay. So now, now, now I'm confused. Are we full? Uh, where are we going? Bread, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. So we're not even close to full. I just had. Oh, there's still some. What? And. Okay, nothing can be super easy, can it? It can't just unload into it and say, there you go, give it hair. Oh, that doesn't work either. All right. Let's turn this around. Maybe it will work better that way. Go, go, go. I really thought it would just take it out. That's what I get for thinking that it... Now, why are you unloading over there? Oh, we're empty now. Okay. I'm confused. There was only like four pallets. We picked up a lot more than four pallets, I thought. Well, either way, well, maybe not. I don't know. All right, let me go ahead and finish wrestling with this thing. Get back in there. Okay, so I am not convinced this is a whole bunch quicker, but I guess it is somewhat quicker. Did you get in there? Yeah, I, I don't know. I would much prefer if it... What are you doing? Did that just go into my trailer? It did. Thank you. Unload. How about if I... Wait. Can't I... Sh Oh, closed doors. Let's do that. That'll be better. Um, no, get back, get back, get back, get back. It's like, you know, when you run up on a ball and you kick it with your feet by accident and then you just keep chasing it. <laughs> That's kind of what I felt like. Come on. Dang it. Now this should be much better. How are we sitting? Thank you. All right. And flour, 52,000 liters. Now that should keep us going for a while. We did need some barley. And I think some barley and some wheat. But then other than that, our uh, oil is, our oil is rocking. We're fine. Wait, do we have any? Do we, do we, do we, do we? Come on, turn around, turn around. Oh yeah, look at that. What is it? Oh no, that's sugar. That's not oil. That's as good. Now what did I, oh, I wanted the sugar for the donuts. Right? Whew. I'm trying to keep track. I'm sorry, I, this is, uh, I need like a whole notepad just to keep track of all of this nonsense. Uh, okay, so sugar, I don't have, I don't have the donuts yet, but. Let's go look. Let's go in here and we go all the way down to here. Construction, productions, factories. It would be this guy right here. So we need flour, which we have. We do have milk. We have strawberries. We have sugar. We don't have any dang butter yet. That's what we're waiting on is butter. But didn't I, I bought the oil mill, but not the butter manufacturer. Oh, Lord have mercy. So where is, we had two different ways, butter factory, which is there. And then we had the dairy. How much is the butter factory? 70 grand. And then the dairy, I didn't have a dairy, did I? I don't, do I? Uh, don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not even looking, I'm, <laughs> I'm in a whole nother world, la la la, uh, 70 for that one as well, okay, so do we have any oil, that's the question, I know we have some milk, no oil yet, nope, dang it, I was hoping, 
sugar mill. Yeah, we're getting there. We are getting a few. It's starting to be something. So let's let's go grab like what I was going to do. Let's go grab a little bit more grain. Go there. We go pull on it. All right, sweet. Wheat, uh, I was looking. Oh, we're, I thought we had barley. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. I thought we had barley. Okay, I do have barley. Where the heck is it now? Oh, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. We have another silo that I quit using when I bought that one. But did I leave barley in it? And can I get it right here? I think so. Not that one. That buys it. This guy right here. Look at that. 45,000 liters. How come there's only 92,000 liters of barley? The other one had no barley. So then where do I have barley? Wait, I'm confused. It says I have 104,000 liters. Huh. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll just go with the flow here. We'll take what we can get. We'll find it. It's got to turn up one way or another. Oh my goodness gracious. I, I looked over at the red fuel tank to the right there and I'm like, oh, how much fuel do I have? Oh, not much. Okay. That is not much at all. So wait, can, I don't think this has any fuel in it. Does it? Does it? It doesn't. Uh, can I do? Okay. Can I? Can I fill it up, or do what I have to get something to fill it up? No, I didn't want to switch to it. I guess that's a no. I'm not sure. Where do I go to get fuel? There's got to be a fuel depot somewhere, right? Okay, so I have made it to the store. I drove all over the place and there's no fuel. So now, now we go to plan B. I don't really know what plan B is. I know that is a fuel trailer here, right? But then how do you fill the dang thing? Wait, oh, uh, wait, maybe in here we have herbicide. Liquid, fer wow, what is that? Liquid fertilizer, 750 liters for 12. Interesting. I never saw that. So that's 2,000 for 3,200. Okay, so anyway, back to what I, I was looking for fuel. Where the heck do I get fuel? Come on. Shouldn't be that complicated, right? Shouldn't be. Now I can get the trailer and then I guess I could fill it with our uh, buy anything silo, but I really wasn't trying to do it that way. But I don't know how else to do it. 30 grand. Oh my God. You people are evil. Evil, I tell you. All right, I guess that's what we're going to do. That seems awful expensive to fill up my darn tractor. But, well, I mean, what color should be fuel? I mean, what is it now? That is not blue. It says blue right here. That's They're goofy. Uh, I like the army green. That's not really army green. It's green green. I kind of like a flatter rim color. We like black, of course. I think we'll go with the green. And we'll buy it. My goodness. Okay, hopefully we don't have any problem filling it up. And I'm sure somebody there is yelling at the darn screen saying, hey, you maroon, you go here and buy fuel, but I couldn't find it. And I'm running pretty darn low. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. 
all right let's see if we can get this done now before we run out of fuel all I wanted to do was fill up my flour mill that's it go now didn't they have oh come on come on come on come on come on come on be nice to me it's not gonna be nice to what am I missing besides a clue here, I'm back it up this way. This is like the longest route to get there. <laughs> Drive all over the dang farm. Just to back it up. Come on, don't make me look like a maroon. Nothing. This is a buy anything. Uh well, fooey. I don't know what to do with it, but I'm gonna have to say, I think, I think it's a day. I have spent probably, I think three to four hours on this video. I know it's ridiculous, but we've done good. We'll have to get everything over. I'll find out where the heck to get some fuel here. Maybe you guys will uh, let me know. Be so nice as to say you go here, you idiot. That's where it is. But with all of that, hey, thanks for tuning in. I do greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna keep trying to get at least two videos out a week. I should be able to do that. I think, I hope, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Be good all, till next time, see ya.